So to start out probability, we need to talk about events. Uh, simple events, compound events, and sample space. So the sample space is all the possible simple events, and a simple event is simply a outcome of an action or an experiment uh, that can't be broken down any further. So if we're rolling a, uh, a die, that's the singular of dice, in case you're curious, and we've got six, a six-sided die, then the possible outcomes, and this would be the, the sample space, the, the possible outcomes or simple outcomes are rolling a 1, rolling a 2, rolling a 3, rolling a 4, rolling a 5, or rolling a 6. And each of these is a simple event. Uh, now, it is possible also to talk about uh, things called compound events. And compound events would be something like rolling uh, something larger than 4, right? And in that event, there are two possible ways that you can achieve that event, right? You could either roll a 5 or a 6. Or another possible compound event would be rolling an even number, right? In this case, there's three possible ways to um, have that event occur. Okay, so these are our sample spaces. Those are all of our simple outcomes, and now we can start talking about probability. So if we're rolling one of those six-sided, six-sided dies, um, can we calculate, th let's say, the probability of rolling a 1? This notation here, P parentheses, is used to denote probability of, and so this is the probability of rolling a 1. Now, a basic probability can be computed as the number of ways that this event can occur divided by the total number of possible events. So for this particular case, how many ways can we roll a 1, right? Remember that our sample space was this. How many of those events are rolling a 1? Well, only one of them. How many total simple events are there? How large is our sample space? Sixth. So there is a 1 sixth probability of rolling a 1 on the die. Now, you could also write that as a percent. It's about 17 percent, uh, but we'll probably be using fractions most of the time because it's a little easier. Now, how about in this one? The probability of rolling a number bigger than 4. How many ways can that event occur? Well, there's two numbers that are bigger than 4, so there's two outcomes that correspond to the event. Out of how many total outcomes are there? 6. And this is a fraction, so we can reduce it. And so there's a 1 out of 3, or 1 third probability, if you roll a die, of rolling a number bigger than 4.